I'll probably find that bone charm in like a mid level. Let's try that. Let's try taking the elevator down. Uh, I didn't realize there was a way out of the top when I was first in it. So let's, yeah, let's see. I'm surprised you're so passionate about regaining your throne. We're at the bottom. Oh, so let's go. So, no, no, no half level there. Let's go to the next floor up. I've had fabled burglars, fortune hunters, and professional killers come through my door, only to expire begging for mercy, crying out for release after only a few hours. Here. Hmm. Yes, here we are. Nope, this is where I was. Oh, this is just up the next level. Ooh, and I can knock the elevator down, like I did with the other one. Okay, let's do that. I suppose I should make a list of all my possessions being destroyed. Just shut up, whiner. Anything in here? Nope. Damn it. So that doesn't do it either. Uh. Okay. Like, it's right, it's right there. So, let's come at it. Hmm. Can I still climb on these things? Yeah, I can. <sighs> Something I haven't seen before. Yeah, it's good. So you powered down my arc pylon. How resourceful. I sure have. I sure have. I did it. All right, what's this one? Unfortunate craftsmanship. Enemy grenades sometimes malfunction. Sure. To whoever might find this, are you trapped? I only know, I know only too well your situation. You see, these are my last words. I have found a spot away from the clutches of these things, but for what? I have no food, no water, and now I grow weak. There was a chance of my escape, then I have missed it. Even writing this note saps any strength I had left. I thought I could beat this contraption, this terrible house, this thing that Jindosh has built, but it has beaten me. I only had thought to bring water or a morsel of bread, and so I say goodbye to you, my reckless friend. Perhaps you two will die here. I'm sorry for that. If I become a ghost, I will try to help you. Otherwise, fare thee well. Stanislaw Shepard, juggler, magician, thief, braggart, and surely a fool. This is the best written part of the game so far. This feels so full of character. The way that it's written that if I become a ghost, then I will try to help you. Otherwise, fare thee well. So good. Such good writing. I'm so sorry, little man. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Do not mop the floors while the arc pylon is active. Whether you understand conductivity or not. <laughs> okay, that's pretty good. so good. Oh, this is accessible from interesting. Okay, well let's let's track our next. Oh, the only bone charm remaining. Very good. Also hi. Are you still there? Is 
are all blocked off, so... Let's see... Here we go. Okay. Oops, that's the opposite way I want to do. Mm, now, now that I'm up here, is there a way out? Or uh, it doesn't look like it. Mm, nope. No, nope, not this way. Anything of interest on the table? Please type and send this letter to Nora Amato Foundry. Madam, your idiot foreman queried me thusly. Will any size do? Any size, he says. No, no, no. The components must be precisely the size I've specified in my plan. I need assurances that there is someone at your facility who understands this, who will see it personally that all the parts I've requested will be perfectly uniform, exactly sized, and composed of the requested materials. I will not pay a single coin, and I have confirmation of my requirements will be met. These parts are not just paperweights for my desk. They must fit together within a larger machine after they leave your doors. I await your reply. Jindosh. Yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah, so this just raises and lowers this room. Maybe. Let's see what let's see what it goes. Right, and when it goes up, it's the room Yeah, the room with the, the gap that I came into originally. It's not hard, man. Your house is full of moving parts. I feel like I should grab Sokolov, so that I'm not forced. Well, I guess I can go back to him. So I knocked out these two losers. Right. Um, and then, yeah, back Ray. Back Ray was before. Hmm. Puzzling. Very puzzling. Well. Let's go. I guess the, the thing is safe now. Let's bring it up. So it goes down, slides away. And then the pylon comes up. And then just hangs out. Okay. How the rats are smart, they know to get the fuck out of the room when the pylon comes up. Alright, well let's ride the let's ride the pylon back down now that we've disabled it. Oh jeez. <laughs> well, this is a new area we've discovered. <laughs> New and damp. Eat all these carrots, though. Ah, I see. Okay, so this is back. This is back in the kitchen. Hmm. Mm hmm. And this brings down the other side. Okay. All right. God, you know, for someone like me, for whom n navigating this kind of stuff is difficult in a map that doesn't move around on its own, I, yeah. I, I have a really hard time keeping track of where shit is. It's very difficult for me. Grab Sokolov and we'll at least start getting him out of here. Come on, old man. Oh, you've taken Sokolov. Now what? 
Safest to take Sokolov back to the carriage before confronting Jindosh. As you wish. Right now, how do I get out of here? Oh, I guess I have to lay him down by the door. Here. Lie down, buddy. I guess I can lay him down on the switch, right? Don't really know what the purpose of that is, but... Oh, I see. Maybe I can lay him on that, that switch. Come here, you. Or, no, I made it around. Okay. Alright. I just have to walk through. Weird. I don't know why I was overcomplicating that. Probably because I'm a PC. Astonishing. You freed Anton yes, I have. Too bad I destroyed the elevator. Ugh. God damn it. Well, God, this this would be impossible. This would be physically impossible to do. Still, impressive work. Oh, God damn it! No. Ah. Okay, well, I've got to lure them out, maybe? And then I can run around? I don't know, we'll see. You freed Anton I sure have. Well, not yet. <laughs> I'm working on it. I'm really working on it here. Alright, let's watch the impossible parkour again. <laughs> Here comes. One handed, straight up, double jumping with someone in your arms. Magical. So this, yeah, right, okay. Where did he go? Oh, come here, so love. Don't. God, I'd be terrified of being crushed. Just, like, constant fear of crushing. So this is just the configuration area for the main room. But doesn't provide me any way to get out of it without going past this. They're just up there. 
skulking about. Okay. Um. Search plane, please. Search is underway. Continue search. There we go. Oh, shit. And then I'll come back and uh, deal with him. Yes. I got the guy out, kind of. I, it's something. It's a start. It's not nothing. It's not nothing, and that's what counts. We're working on it. <laughs> okay, cool. So. Okay. At least Anton is safe. Why did I get, why did you have to no, load this whole thing just for that? Back we go. Let's try to sneak past that one in the front lounge. Yep. All right, so now we're free to collect that last rune and deal with what's his name? Aristocratic but hostile. Yeah, I'm gonna fuck you up, dude. We are lens array active. Back facing detect unauthorized. Oh, shit. There are a lot of them. That is uh significant, okay. There we go. Combat protocol. Hey guys. Triggering electrostatic discharge. The last has entered combat. Supremely inelegant, but at least I've at least I've got him out of the house. Hey, and I'm up on top of this thing. Look, I'm 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 back in the general vicinity of the the charm. All right. Oh, I seem to have crammed myself up in the corner here. All movements are linked. Everything has a purpose. It's all connected, you see. Is this his workshop? Oh, his bedroom. Interesting. Stop talking to me about your house. My efforts to fine-tune the electroshock machine have been less than successful. Breaking down the more bothersome elements of a subject's personality, such as willpower, while leaving cognition and creativity unharmed has proved unrealistic. Instead, my machine leaves the subject babbling like a child, which is the opposite of what I need from Sokolov. It is a nice view, though. I will say that of this madman. It's a beautiful view of the city. Still. What a monster. All right, I need this last bone charm. Yes, I'm aware there's a bone charm nearby. It's right there. I'll be damned if I can get at it. Woof. Okay. So yeah, I'm finding I'm finding this level to be both fascinating in terms of um like what it has to offer from a design perspective and then also like it's driving me crazy because it's so right in my blind spot of how i play games and how i understand navigation
Oh, I just slid through that wall. Hey, right, don't, don't fight me. I gotta go. See you later, jerks. What is this? Right, okay. See, I'm just in the same... Ugh. I'm just like in the same place that I was before. Okay. Oh, no, this is the quick load. I want to load my autosave. Hey, purple caster minion. Okay, so there's three, there's three of these guys in this room, and I can't really sneak past them, like, because I have to hit that switch just to get the room to reconfigure. Plus, they can see behind them. All right, so where the hell is that black? Is that black bone charm? All right, I'm pretty sure it's through here somewhere. Wait, is that, oh no, that's the Delilah painting. Whoa, cool. I look upon the craftsman. Mine. Yoinked. Alright. One of those rhino birds. See that? That section of wall was going up and down. I'm curious if I can wedge myself in Shifting there. Shifting the walls and floors as if you were born here. Clever. Or are you just moving things at random? Yeah. No. Yeah, the damn it. Triggering electrostatic discharge. Ah. Stand <laughs> Wow, these things are nuts to try to actually like get in sword fights with. Yikes. Yeah, um... I, I really just need to find my way... Yeah, here, let's load. I don't want to have to fight through both of these things. I really just need to find my way like down it's i'm going to be so annoyed when i find out where this thing is I just want to get this stupid thing let's find it okay so this thing goes up and down let's trigger it one more time now is there anything down here Just a button. Fantastic. Alright, so it isn't down here. But it's somewhere close. It's somewhere so fucking close. Down a floor. Silver graphs. Full in. 
The machine is experiencing uncertainty. Playback for detection ready. Ah, it's right there. This playback indicates some detection without certainty. Okay, let's just shadow form past it. Or like around the corner, I guess. All right. So maybe there's another shifting the walls and floors as if you were born here. Clever. Oops. What happened? Oh, I got killed. Yeah, Shadow Walk is really cool. You turn into like a creepy, crawly shadow monster. Again, one of those things I'd love to see in the third person. Okay, so it's got to be somewhere around here. Did I miss something? Combat Protocol 6. Triggering electrostatic discharge. Stand clear. Here we go. Okay, third, so there's a button here. Oh. Well, shit. Shadow repose. Shadow repose. Regain health during shadow walk. Neat. I did it. I don't have to dig for these stupid things anymore. Yay. Oh, that's cool. And it, it takes us into the dark room. Cool. All right. <laughs> Hey, Mads, I got crushed. I got crushed in the wall. Hey, Blue Jay. Oh. Yeah, I did it on purpose. Okay, so now... Now I need to just head for the laboratory. <laughs> Okay, let's go. That's it. Closer and closer. I'm waiting. All right, creep. At last, Imperial Majesty, you found me. You realize you're only the second person to set foot in this room, the most sophisticated laboratory in the Isles. Please, try not to damage anything as you die. Is... Soldiers, dispatch this intruder. I feel like he'd never dispatch uh, soldiers into this room. Because, like, there's so much damageable stuff. What? There's another bone charm nearby? God damn it. Where? Where's the bone charm? Somewhere near they hold hands. Oh, stop with the holding hands talk again. Poison together. I gotta get out of here. This old couple. A banker tricked them out of their home. The machine has entered combat. Oh god. Combat protocol 8. Brianna Ashworth. Oh, enemy. Playback for combat protocol. Oh, I thought I'd catch him on that rotating door, which I obviously didn't. Okay, well, I need to find a way to get a level down in this lab. Here we go. There's a way to do it. Let's go looking for oh, maintenance key. Breakable door, my ass. The 
it's a long way down. Uh huh. Uh, great. Okay, so. Oh, this is the other way to get to. Ah, so clever. So clever. This is the other way to get down to his. His lair. Neat. Oh, that's cool. I love when you do that. When you, like, find your way back a different direction. Cool. Alright. So I found my way back in this way, but it's not going to be of any use to me. Let's... So much for being a breakable door. Yeah, that's exactly where I need to get. I don't know where the maintenance key is, though. <laughs> Alright, fine. Maybe we can drop down and go under it. There must be another way in. It's pretty much the motto of this game. Oh, I see where I am now. Yeah, remember this? This area? This is where Sokolov was, but on the other side. Fantastic. Okay. Well, um... I do not know where that key is, but it seems like maybe I need that. Of course, this is the thing that we can do. Uh, I wonder who will live here in this place after I've passed world. How long will these parts continue? There's probably a door with a lot or something. Discrepancy detected. Yeah, uh, about that. Oh, good. Fuck the key. Body. Look at that body. Look at that body. Look at that body. Oh my god. That's it. The the fucking the the MacGuffins are completed. We did it. <laughs> a bomb is a kind of key. A bomb is a wish your heart makes. All right, let's go up there and fuck this nerd up. To defeat, I have to defeat the robots. New mission clue. Right, render him unconscious and then power the machine. Gene has lost its quarry. How did you do that? Do I have any other view? Okay. This is yes! Oh, I'm glad they walked into each other. That worked out great. Okay, um, what else do I have? A spring laser? Enemy evasion. Successful. Come on, boyo. Where did you go? Nice. Okay, alright, good. Let's get upstairs and capture. Oh, what's his nuts? Hello, friend. What if I can sucker him into walking into a stun mine? 
Or I could just sneak up behind him. Hi, I'm standing right here. Really? Really? There you go. Oh, I could have grabbed him. This must be the electro shock. Yeah, you have me. Come, come get me. This is unthinkable. How did you do that? Look, I can dodge bullets, sucker. Aw, oh, down you go. All right. So he's having a sleepy time. Let's uh take him to the machine. Come to the machine, friend. You're coming with me. I'm going to electroshock the shit out of you. You ever had a forceful alignment change? Well, you're about to. Anton Sokolov, once the royal physician and head of the Academy of Natural Philosophy. In your prime, the most sought-after painter in all the Empire. My hero in younger days. Now... My puppet. If you're going to use this inelegant looking device against me, get on with it, Jindosh. Though I'm not sure what you hope to accomplish. I must admit to feeling a bit of professional curiosity as to the function of the apparatus. Patience, friend. Patience. The sequence of events is important. You'll come to understand my electroshock machine, but when? Before or after that light leaves your eyes? And where does it go when it disappears? Who will tell me that? Has anyone ever loved the sound of his own voice <laughs> as much as you do, Kieran? Perhaps the device could tell us that. The device. No, sadly it cannot. I but love the device. The oh my god, stop lathering. Most, your precious intellect. If you won't agree to collaborate on the next clockwork. If you won't agree to be on my next I'll album, I will the use the Kanyeometer to destroy your, your mind. I refuse. If I'm to be a drooling idiot, at least I won't be bothered by any more of your <laughs> rambling theory. Alright, Jindosh is in the machine. Let's go ahead and find a way to power it up. All right, here we go. Gimme, gimme shock treatment. Activating the machine. It's alive. It's alive. Wow. I need the lightning rod from the ceiling. All right then, how do I power this thing? His cables run to his head, but does he need like batteries or? Power the machine. Free enough power for the machine to function. Okay. Ah, uh, yes, it's one of these. Um. Does that, that do it? Just like available power, usable power. What's even happening? All right, go. Oh, I see. So it's totally out of power now. All right, bringing up the anatomy platform. Yeah, that opposite did it. It took away all the power. Can I... What's happening? There the we go. Machine should work now. All right, take two. <laughs> yes! Yes! This ought to change your mind! <laughs> Really terrible. Suck it, Socrates. Yes, that is definitely better than killing him. Definitely a better choice. Yep, glad I did that. And if I combine the acid against a copper plate, it. What does it do? I 
I knew that a moment ago. Does anyone know the answer? Uh, yeah. So this goes right back to what we were talking about the I tattoos before. Yeah. Like gone. We've we've stolen a light from the world, right? He's a bad person, but bad people can be reformed. I'm very much afraid of. This is the same to the world. I think is killing him. There's no mercy in this. A dark you choice. You can't have put me through that machine. But wait, what does it do? I see memories flee from him as he seeks them. Kill me. All is shifting. Please. Make me intermingling. Die. Gruesome. Great theorems drift Something just beneath the surface. Just beyond his Something reach. I don't think it's better than being dead, honestly. Oh, like in a few seconds. When he remembers, Hello? he is filled with rage and despair. Please, Oof. This is gross. This is like the worst. Abandon and, and then your mom is like, I'm so glad you don't kill anybody. Laugh at me now. For just a second, he had a new line of thinking. The solution to a great engineering problem. Now, lost. Terrible. In a way. He oh yeah, let's try to justify that. that Quiet, severed heart. Been. He thinks of his dinner later, and hopes for cabbage with pork. Kirin Jindosh, grand inventor for Sirkonos. He dreams of an army of mechanical soldiers. Yeah, I think having this done to you like as an accident, like, you know, hitting your head or suffering from a disease that deteriorates your mind, like dementia, like I think that's that's very different than a person making a conscious choice to like destroy a person's mind. His invention, the silvercraft, it combines mercury and light on a plate. He invented photography. An image appears. Some are delighted, some terrified. He has a great mind for innovation. No, he doesn't anymore. Invention. We destroyed it. Progress. Perhaps even greater than Sokolov. Nope, not anymore. Not anymore, creepy heart mom. So young when he attended the academy. I'm gonna go. So quiet then. I'm gonna go. They hardly noticed him, but he took it all in. Understand. Yeah, I'm, a, I'm a scary person to have as Perhaps an empress. Even better than they did. Oh, that's annoying. It should go down at the same pace that you walk forward, so you can feel like a cool badass. But you walk too fast, or it goes too slow. All right, well, let's take our politically correct scientist. Aristocratic profile, but hostile. Yeah, yeah, that's a good point. Like, it, it looks like electroshock therapy, but isn't, right? He called it that, but electroshock actually does, like, affect the brain in certain ways and can be helpful for uh for some things but yeah i mean i guess that's a that's a hallmark of the game right because it happened in dishonored as well the idea that like sometimes killing is the less cruel seeming thing to do on the surface um the game takes a stance that murder is always the worst possible thing you can do um which i guess i understand yeah this was closer to, to Sort of, like selective lobotomy. Now, the way to do that, the way to do that would be to have done to him what he had planned to have Sokolov do, uh, to have done to Sokolov, where you zap him and he still contains all of that information, but then loses all of his personality. Um, or not his personality, but like loses like the parts of him that are undesirable. That would have been another way to do it. 
Um, but he obviously, like, the, the point is that it's supposed to be dark, and you can't really do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, and the other thing, and this, the game does it, right? The game wants you, and Dishonored 1 was like this too, the game wants you to feel justified in um, doing these things. It wants you to be like, he was a bad person, and so he deserved it. Oh yes, those people woke up. Uh, let's get back to Megan. Yeah, forced correction is pretty vile. I agree. It's pretty dark. The blood flies need some fresh meat. The fuck? are going to get it. Step outside and back. Why is there like a random witch out here? Oh, they're howlers. Uh, hi. What the Someone fuck's there? going on? Ah! Jesus Christ! What the hell? Ah, uh, no! Oh, me and my friend are going. We're leaving now. That's cool and stuff, but no thank you. You did it. How is he? He's frail and wounded, but he'll recover. I didn't think it was possible. You must have a story to tell. Uh, yeah, I did some bad things. Honestly, it's it's not... I'm not thinking about this for Kieran's sake. Obviously, killing him is worse for his sake than any form, really, of leaving him alive. He wasn't in suffering. He wasn't... It wasn't like we, like, caused him chronic pain forever, necessarily. Um, I'm thinking about the world at large, right? Wiping clean... Uh, wiping clean the... Uh, the mind of someone who had advanced technology, who advanced culture, who had made things like that, that create art. Uh, that's, that's, you know, that's the crime, right? That's the real crime. It's cruel to have wiped his mind like that. Um, whether it's more cruel than death, that, that's, that's a, a debate for philosophy and, uh, and for, for ethics, right? Like there's no one answer to that, but I think it's, it's easy to say that we've killed the man that was there who could have made the world a better place, except that he was kind of an asshole. So, you know, like, it's like, uh, it's like killing Einstein or it's like wiping Einstein's mind clean before he helped contribute to the nuclear bomb. Like, yes. Like what would Kieran have done? Kieran would have, um, Kieran would have made, uh, clockwork soldiers that, that, you know, crush, kill, destroy, uh, you know, and, and led to the empowerment of the, of the like regime and all that stuff. That would have been a bad thing. So it's, yeah, I mean, it's one of those things, right? The, the ethics of it is obviously it's bad no matter what. Uh, let's go back That's to the, good. well, so, I mean, you can't, no one's going to argue that it's, it's one of the, it's good either way, but Hey, you know what? I didn't kill anybody. And I guess, you know, I guess the point is, I guess the point is that it shows video games, at least this video game, has a limited idea of, or a limited ability to express morality, and is maybe being a little, like, weirdly heavy-handed about the, like, you saved him, but at what cost? Like, why, why can't we convince people to change their ways, right? Why can't, um... Why can't it be like that? And I guess it could in a different game. We we already know that this game has a very pessimistic idea of what people are like at their core, right? And so this comes from that. Uh, the game is not giving us the option to do right, only to do one of several kinds of uh, one of several kinds of wrong. Um, yeah. So that's that's a thing. I definitely I definitely think that uh, you know. Taking, uh, taking away a person's uh, innate talent and ability to contribute to the world is a, is a, a heinous act. Um, but I think, uh, I mean, I think the game doesn't have the nuanced approach. Um, I also think, I also think that the game is telling us something. It's making a statement about its own politics in that 
the good, if the good approach, and, and I mean good in the sense of like the good ending of a video game, the more desirable approach because it requires more skill, right? Just killing people and going through the game uh, chaotically, you could see that as the bad way to play the game. The game is in and of itself a skill test, right? And the skills that you have available to you are sneaking, and so it's encouraging you to be stealthy. So optimally, if you want to be the best at this game, you're going to take the non-lethal stealthy route through the game uh, to, to achieve kind of the most pure version of the game. And so if you're going to do that, if that's the, the track you're taking through the game, you have to do it the, uh, the, the way that the game gives you the sort of worst philosophical option, right? Um, now, of course, you can choose for yourself, but there's no <laughs> there's no achievement for free will. There's no achievement for mixing and matching. Um, but but yes, as as was pointed out in chat, both both things both things cause the removal of a, a great mind from the world, right? Killing him, and because there is no redemption, the game is called Dishonored because it's about the characters being dishonored. But maybe that lack of honor, that that lack of nobility and the total lack of options to be noble having been taken away from you uh you uh you can't the game is saying you cannot make the world a better place that's not what this is about it's about vengeance right it's about it's about joel's choice at the end of last of us it's about doing the selfish thing to get what you want and the only positive reinforcement outside the game so far for not killing people, right? Because only the game is rewarding us for not murdering. The only reinforcement we have in the game is the one thing that the heart says, you find a way to do it without blood. So I wonder if the game designers and the narrative designers thought about that. If they thought about like, we're going to make a game that's cynical. We're going to make a game that says this about the world that, that you're playing in. And you can't really have a moral approach you can't have a moral win or if they were just like let's think of some stuff that makes people be like "Ooh, the good choice maybe isn't so good like i don't want to believe that that's i want them to have a, a higher i want them to have a higher viewpoint than that i want them to be philosophical about game design but the game itself can't tell us that so it's lost so it doesn't matter what the designers intended Right, take back what's yours. That's a good point. There's a full, um, you know, it's it's not about doing the right thing in this in this game. It's about vengeance, um, which is interesting. It's it's an interesting combination because usually vengeance stories are just like drenched in blood. So it's like a bloodless vengeance um, is a is a sort of a strange thing to see in in media. Huh. Cool. <laughs> 